Shalom. <clears throat> shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Waka, Chodash, Yahweh, which is the only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who we learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word of truth and sincerity. This is your brother, Mashiach Arazaka, from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And pretty much, uh, this lesson is going to be titled as Hebrews 101, the true name of the Lord. All right. Again, it's going to be titled as the true name of the Lord. All right. And uh, this is for you new guys in this truth, for edification's sake. <clears throat> if you're new in this truth, all right, Lord willing, uh, this lesson is edifying. You know, the Lord put the spirit on me to do this lesson. And uh, we're going to make this really quick. Now, <clears throat> the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. All right. Now, as you can see above, it says Yah here. You have the line, Hawa. And the reason why I split it like that, because we're going to break the name down through the spirit. All right. So it's Yah, Hawa. See, Yah, Hawa. Yah means he, line. That's what Yah means. Yah means he, Hawa. It means is, to be, exist. That's the name, the true name of the Heavenly Father, all right? The God of Israel in the Bible. His name is Yahweh. Yah means he. Hawa means is, to be, exist, all right? Yah means he. Hawa means to be, is, exist, or is, to be, exist, all right? Yahweh. So in total, you would just say Yahweh. You wouldn't have it split, but I'm having it split like that for edification, but just to... You know, not to confuse nobody, because you don't need to say it separate. This is how you will actually say the Lord's name together. All right? So you would say it just like that. All right? Let me move this down, because I got everything together. All right? So I'm going to split this, and then I'll put this together so we won't have no confusion there. All right. So again, this is how you say the Lord's name. All right. The Heavenly Father's name. So it's Yahweh. See how it's together? It says Yahweh. And then it has a split, you know, just to break the name down. Yah. Oops. Salakia. Got the other. Yahweh. It's not supposed to be split like that. So like, yeah. But it's Yahawa. Yahawa. All right. It's Yahawa. All right. Yahawa. It's Yahawa. All right. So um, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Again, sorry for the confusion, but it's split. It would be Yahawa. 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 All right. It means is. It means he. Yah means he. All right. Yah itself means he. All right. Hawa means is to be exist. All right. <clears throat> ba Hashem. Now, you need to understand what Ba Hashem means. All right. It's easy to say uh, coming in the name because, you know, there was an incident that I did a lesson on. And this guy, this Jake took on the name Bahashem, but he didn't understand that the name that he took really meant coming in the name, because that's how you say it in the ancient Phoenician Paleo Hebrew, it's Bahashem, all right? But you had an Edomite <clears throat> correcting the Jake that took on the name Bahashem and let him, you know, supposedly corrected him, but corrected him in error because he looked up the Yiddish, and Yiddish hasn't been out that long. That's not the ancient Paleo-Hebrew. Yiddish is made up, all right? It goes back to Kongibulan, the Yiddish. 
So he put Bashim, which is incorrect. Bashim is not how you say coming in the name. It's Bahashem. There's no E's in the Hebrew. So I just want to let you new guys know, and it's true, if you come across a, 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 a Jewish, Yiddish person, and they try to correct you with Bahashem, they're wrong, because they're going to tell you Bashim, and it's not Bashim, it's Bahashem, which means coming in the name, all right? Ba means coming in, all right? Ha means the, Sham means name, all right? So remember, it's Bahashem coming in the name, all right? That's how you say, you say Yahweh, because remember, you got to get, you got to call upon the name of Yahweh Shai to get to the Heavenly Father. So you got to call upon the name of the only begotten Son to get to the Heavenly Father. So this is why we're breaking it down like this, because you just can't pray to Yahweh and skip Yahweh Shai. It's not, it don't work like that. The scriptures even say Yahweh Shai is our mediator, all right? He's our mediator. So you got to call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Yes, we have to worship Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh. All right. There's total order to this truth. All right. Yahweh Shai. Now we're going into the name of the only begotten son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is not the name of the Messiah. The letter J, and you can Google this. The letter J, all right, is over... Um, 500 years old. The letter J is only 500 years old. The Messiah is over 2,000 years old. He's damn near 2,000 years old. All right? The Messiah is damn near over 2,000 years old. So how is his name Jesus? The letter J is, is, is only 500 years old, man. There's no J's in the Hebrews, no E's, no V's, no U's, all right? No F's, all right? There's, there's no... Those letters that I just named are, are five letters recently added to the to the uh, letters, all right? Because in the Hebrew, there's only 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet. There's not 26 letters, all right? There's only 20, there's only 22 letters, all right? Yahweh Shai, this is the name of the only begotten son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus because Jesus is not his name. It's Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means savior or deliverer. That's the one and only true name of the only begotten Son, of the Messiah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Christ. His one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. All right? So let's go back up. We're going to go into the scriptures, but I want to, you know, break this down for the new newcomers in this thing. All right? So the true name, it says the true name of the Lord, all right? It's Yahweh. all right? That's the true name of the Heavenly Father, the God of Israel, all right? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. The Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. All right? Again, Yah means he, Yah itself. So let me get this. Yah means he. All right? Yah means he. All right? Yah means he. All right? Hawa means is, to be, exists. All right? To be, exists, he is. All right? That's what Yah means. Yah Yahweh means. All right? So remember, Yah means he. Hawa means is, to be, exists. All right? So that's how you pronounce the Lord's name. So it's Yahweh. All right? If you're having a problem with the name, understanding the name, or pronouncing the name, just keep going over this, going back on the video, replaying, replaying, replaying it so you can get it embedded in your mind, you know? So that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right? Yahweh. All right? Bahashem means coming in the name. Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Yah means he. Remember, Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means savior or deliverer. That's how you say the name of the only begotten son. Now let's get to the scriptures. Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the winds in his fists? Who have uh, who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? So this is Proverbs 30 and 4. Okay. It says, What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? What is the heavenly father's name? And what is his only begotten son's name, if thou canst tell? It's Yahweh. Mm -hmm. This is Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh, Bahashim, 
Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Zeph Zephaniah 3 and 9. For then will I turn to the people of pure language. What is the pure language? The ancient Paleo Hebrew, which is the Phoenician Hebrew. All right? The Phoenician Hebrew. All right? The ancient Phoenician Hebrew. The Paleo Hebrew. Paleo means ancient. Ancient Hebrew. All right? That's the pure language. The Lashawan Kodash. Lashawan Kodash. Lashawan Kodash. All right? Not Kodash. Kodash. Lashawan Kodash. All right? That's how you say it. That's the, the pure language. That they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. So you got to know the name of the Lord. And now you might, I might be getting questions right now in your heads or people's heads is, well, I thought the Lord went by many names. That's totally wrong. That's incorrect. That's Roman Catholic doctrine. All right. The Jesuits and all of them came up with that philosophy that the Lord goes by many different names, but he don't. You got to know his true name. It's like you, and I the perfect example to, to, to bring out, because, you know, it's, some people still don't understand and don't get it. If your name is Joseph and somebody's yelling out Jack from far away, hey, Jack, 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 hey, Jack, I'm over here, Jack. The, 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 the guy's name that's named Joseph, he's going to look around like, who are you talking to? You talking to me? And he's going to tell you, my name is Joseph, man. I'm not Jack. It's the same thing with the Lord. If you call on him by a different name, he's not going to answer to that, man, because that's not his name. His name is Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And the name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. You calling on different names, <clears throat> the Lord isn't going to answer your prayers because he don't acknowledge his name as all these other names that they got, man. So you got you to gotta know his name. The name of the Lord does matter. This is Zechariah 14 and 9. And this is, this is my main point right here. This is proof that the Lord doesn't go by many names. Zechariah 14 and 9. And the Lord, anytime you see Lord in caps, it's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It says, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day. Shall there be one Lord in his name one. So there's no other name out there. All right. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. And the name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. There's no other name out there. So if you're a Jake that's calling on all these different names, you're going off. His name is the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the name of his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. There's no other name out there. This is Acts 4 and 12, and this is another point. It says, neither is there salvation in any other. So there is no salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So there's no other name given, all right, meaning what? There's no other name given to worship the Lord, all right? The Lord's name is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's it. There's no other name out there. If you're hearing all these other groups out here calling on all these different names, they sold out under the 501c3, man. If they calling on different names like Yahweh, uh, Ahaya, uh, you know, Yehuda, Yahuwah, they going off because the Lord doesn't go by many different names. The Lord's name is Yahweh. All right, the name of the only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. It's not Yeshua. It's not Jesus. It's not Yeshaya. That's not, that's not the name of the Messiah's name. His name is Yahweh Shai. All right, and we got the definition to go into the Strong's. It's H3068, which is Yahweh. All right, it says the, the self existent or eternal Yahweh. In English, they have it as Jehovah, but this is incorrect as well. In English, it's Jehovah which is incorrect. You got to go into the, the Paleo Hebrew and you'll get Yahweh. All right. But in the King James Bible, you'll see Jehovah in there. That's not, that's not the, the correct name of the Lord. It's Yahweh. You got to go into the Paleo Hebrew. H3068 is Yahweh. All right. And this is proof right here. All right. That the Lord's name is in the Bible, but Jehovah is not his name. It's Yahweh. Exodus 6 and 3. It says, I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of Yahweh Almighty, Allah, Shadda, Allah Shaddaiah, which means uh, power almighty. That's what Allah Shaddaiah, Allah Shaddaiah means, Allah Shaddaiah, Allah Shaddaiah, all right? It means power almighty. 
It says, but by my name, Yahweh, which that is the correct name when you go into the Hebrew, it's Yahweh there. All right. Wrongly translated as Jehovah, was I not known to them? Why would a bunch of people, everybody you, everybody goes by Jehovah is, is the name of the Lord, supposedly in the Bible. They, they, everybody knows, if you say Jehovah to somebody, they'll say, yeah, that's the name of God. But that's not. It's Yahweh. Yahweh was not known to them. Because not everybody knows that the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. It's common sense. And you can read that in Exodus 6 and 3. It'll say Jehovah there, but when you go into the, the Hebrew, the Paleo, it's Yahweh. All right? Here's another meaning for it. Going to another strong. This is in the Hebrew. That's what H stands for, Hebrew. H3050, which is Hebrew. Yah. That word Yah means he. Remember, Yah means he. So Yahweh. All right? He is to be exist. Contracted from H36, which I just got out earlier, and meaning the same. It says Yah in English is Jah. Yeah, because when you go to um, Psalm 68 and 4, it says it says Jah there with a J. But when you go into the Paleo Hebrew, which is H3050, H H3050, it's Yahweh. It's Yah there. Yah. Yah means he. It says, it says, scarred name, compared names in Ayah, Yah. So Proverbs 68 and 4. So remember, that's Yah there. Sing unto Yahweh, sing praises to his name, exalt him that rieth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Right. So it's Yah there. When you read it in the King James Bible, it'll say Yah, but you got to understand, you got to go into the Paleo Hebrew so you can get Yah there. You're not going to see Yah in the, in the King James Bible because it's written in Greek text. So you'll get J's in there, you know. This is uh, Exodus 3 and 14. Now, this is the scripture that a lot of uh, groups will read, Israelite groups will read, because you got this group called GLCC. They'll read uh, Exodus 3 and 14, and they'll say, see, the Lord's name is I am that I am, a higher, short, higher. The Lord did tell Moses, I am. But when Moses went to Pharaoh, he said, he is. That's the point that's made. All right? Salakia. Salakia. Had an uh, important phone call, a text, important text that I had to read. This is uh, Exodus uh, 3 and uh, 14. It says, and Yahweh said unto Moses, I am that I am. So, you know, you got groups that will read this right here, and they'll say, see, the, the Lord's name is I am that I am. That's his name. The Lord told Moses his name was I am, but that's not what Moses told Pharaoh. All right. When Moses went to Pharaoh, he said he is that sent me. He is. He didn't say I am sent me. That don't make no sense. He said he is. So the name of the heavenly father is he. He is. He. He is. To be exists, he is. To be exists, he is. All right. That's the name of the heavenly father. Yahweh. Not Ahaya, all right? Because you people that saying the Lord's name is I am that I am, you saying Ahaya, Ashur Ahaya, saying I am that I am, and then you saying Bahashem Yeshaya. So you saying I am that I am. That's what you're telling yourself when you pray. I am that I am. You're saying you are that you are. I am that I am. Coming in the name uh, Joshua, because that's what you're saying. Because Yeshaya, it means Joshua. When you go into the English translation, all right? And that's not the name of the Messiah. His name is Yahweh Shai, all right? And the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It's not Ahaya Shohaya, because you're saying I am. When you say, when you say Ahaya Shohaya, you're saying I am to yourself. Instead of saying he is to be exists, he is. He is to be exists. you saying I am that I am. You, you call yourself I am. That's what you're basically saying. So that's what is an error here. So when you read Exodus 3 and 14, the Lord did say, I am that I am to Moses. When Moses went to Pharaoh, he said, he is that sent me. So it's Yahweh. It's not Ahaya, Ashur Ahaya. That's off. All right. And I don't know. I know some GOCC guys may come across this video. Y'all can get upset all you want. But it's, it's true correction. It's not I am that I am. His name is Yahweh, which means he to be exists. All right. Exodus 3 and 14, and it says, and I'll read for verbatim, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. So the Lord did tell Moses his name. The Lord did say to Moses, I am that I am. But when Moses went to Pharaoh, he said, he is that sent me. He didn't say, I am sent me. Moses was talking to himself when he told Pharaoh, I am sent me. That don't make no sense. He said, he is. All right. And he said, thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, 
I am have sent me unto you. Right. So when Moses went to Pharaoh and when Moses even spoke to his people, he said he is sent me. He didn't say I am sent me. He said he is. That's why you got to understand that the, you got to go into the translation of the Hebrew to understand it. All right. Or you're going to have you're going to have uh, messed up breakdowns. That's why the elders in Apostle Great Millstone, they teach us and tell us to always break down words because you can have errors on the scriptures. And you don't want that. Exodus 3 and 15, it says, And God said, Moreover, unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, because I don't like saying God so much, and the power of Jacob, have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. This is my memorial unto all generations. So the Lord's name is Yahweh. All right? The Lord's name is Yahweh. And this scripture right here, you, if you are new, you're not going to find this scripture in the King James Bible. If you have a regular King James Bible, you got to get an apographer, all right? And the apographer, um, you just got to look it up. You know, it's, it's a red book, but that book is also uh, goes in with the King James Bible, all right? The Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican, they took that Bible out of the book. So you don't have a full Bible Without the apographer, you got to have an apographer to have a full Bible. And if, you know, if you do, you know, try to get you a 1611 Bible so you can have the whole entire Bible. Because you don't, you, if you just have a King James Bible, you don't have a full Bible. You need the apographer. All right. So this is in the, this is in the King James Bible, but it was taken out by the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican. All right. So. If you don't have this, you know, uh, you can get you can even get the app on your phone right now and uh, download a 1611 Bible app and you can you can have the scriptures on your phone as well. You know, but you need the apographer. So if you don't have one and you're new in this truth, get one. This is this is Sirach 43 and 26. By him, the, by him, the end of them have prosperous success and by his word, all things consist. Verse 27. We may speak much, and yet come short. Wherefore, in some, he is all. Verse 28, how shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. Verse 29, Yahweh is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. Talking about the Heavenly Father. Verse 30, it says, when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. Right, exalt him. That word exalt means to lift. All right, exalt him, lift his name up, man. Praise the Lord. It says, for even yet will he far exceed when, when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be wary for ye can never go far enough, right? You know, so you need to call upon the name of the Lord. So like verse 31, who have seen him that he might tell us and who can magnify him as he is, see? As he is, that's Yahweh, talking about the Heavenly Father. Verse 32, it says, There are yet hid greater things than these be, for we have seen but a few of his works. Verse 31, for Yahweh have made all things, and to the godly have he given wisdom. So right, the name of the Lord, the true name of the Heavenly Father, again, and his only begotten Son name, and I'm going to write the whole thing on the top. I'm going to write the whole name out because I have it broken down here in pieces. So we're going to just write it all up for edification. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. All right. Salakia. Yahweh. Bashim. Yahweh Shai. I have it so much in my phone. I have it already memorable in my phone because I practice this name. So it's Yahweh. This is how you praise the Lord. Yahweh. Bashim. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Chadash. All right. But let me add the whole thing to it. You know, for edification purposes. All right. So, call, which is the first K A L, is call. Let me capitalize that A. A Salakia. Salakia, I'm wilding a little bit. 
Ka, which means all. Halal, praises to. All right. It says ka, all. Ka is all. It means all. Halal, praises to. Halal means praises to. Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yah means he. Hawa means to be exists. He is. Bahashem. Remember, Bahashem means what? Coming in the name. Okay. Yahweh Shai. All right. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means savior or deliver. All right. That's what Yahweh Shai means. Remember. Bahashem. Coming in the name. Raka Chodash. Raka means holy. All right. Raka means holy. So let me let me help you with that. Raka. Raka means holy. Okay. And then kwadash. Kwa dash. Not ka dash. Kwa dash. Means spirit. Okay. So ka holo ka holo means all praises to all right ka holo ka holo so that means ka means all all a l l all holo means praises to okay praises to so spell praises to so ka means all a l l holo means praises to yahweh all right remember yahweh yah means he you see, Yah means he, Hawa means is to be exists. Yahweh. All right. Bahashem. Bahashem means coming in the Baha means coming in the Sham means name. All right. Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Hawa Shai means savior or deliver. Okay. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem coming in the name. Raka means holy. Khwadash means spirit. So you're saying all praises to he is to be exists coming in the name he saves savior deliverer he saves he delivers Bahashem coming in the name all right Racha means holy spirit so all praises to he is to be exists coming in the name he delivers, he saves, coming in the name, Holy Spirit, Holy, which is Raka, Kodash means spirit. So, hey, man, uh, if you are, you know, um, still having trouble, go back again to the beginning of the lesson and keep going over this and over and over and over and over till you get it, get, you know, get embedded in you. You know, the Lord's going to work with you in the spirit. So, hey, this is Hebrews 101. I wanted to there with that. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waha, Waha, Kodash, Yahweh, which is one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world can be called Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who we learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am your brother, Mashiach Arazaka. From the servants of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.